Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. We've got a perfect night for baseball on the show. It's the Cleveland Guardians and the Los Angeles Angels. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to go and towing the slab here, Jonathan Diaz. What should we keep an eye on here? Four pitch guy, he's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later, maybe second, third time through the order and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket as a hitter you really have to stay on your toes. The one two. Next offering oh, is outside. outside. It's a good take. Next offering oh, is in the dirt. The pitch. In the air, center field. Phillips settles underneath it, and there's one away. Here's the Guardians lineup now. Now it's Jose Ramirez. He has, as they like to say, light tower power. Not a big guy, but a big swing and thunder in that bat. One down, base is empty. Yeah. He goes down looking. No, I can't argue with that one, and clearly he was looking for something else, anything but the breaking ball. It's a great pitch to hit right there if you're looking for it, and kind of a gift at a two-strike count, but sometimes you just get fooled and you got to tip your cap. Nothing but curveball so far in the at-bat kind of makes it difficult as a hitter to know what to look for because you start wondering if he'll keep coming with it or if they'll try to speed you up. And a pitch. And now the count filled up three and two. On the ground. And that chance handled. Whips it to first on the run. And it's a 1 2 3 inning. Nothing doing for the Guardians there. And now the Angels will get their first opportunity in this one. No score. Back in Anaheim. And starting this one, Cal Quantrill. What do you have on him, Siggy? Well, this guy has the ability to command the game. He's got to limit damage, make his pitches, and avoid that big inning. If he can work around that, he can give a quality start, hand this off to the bullpen later on, and put his team in a position to win a game. We go to the bottom of the first. So in now for the Angels, number 18. Hit on the ground to the right side. The flip to the pitcher covering. One up, one down. All right, let's take a look at the Angels lineup. Brandon Drury to the plate. Quattro back to work. Swing and a miss. One and two the count. The punch out there. Now two out. Two outs, base is empty. Luis Rangifo, the next to hit for the Angels. Next offering is down low. Swing and a ball popped up. And he makes the catch. And that is that. Angels go down one, two, three. Scoreless after one. And welcome back. Loriano comes up to hit. 
On the ground to third, Escobar. Whips it across and quickly one away in the second. Good two-seam action right there, That's running good. away from the batter. Rolled good. over it, got the ground out. Oh, the 1-1. One -one. No, with the shift on, hits right into it. Tosses to first, two up, two down. That exists. Now, David Fry. David Fry. Kicks and fires. Cap dances out of the way of that one. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Bottom of the inning, and now and the DH, Mike Mike Moustakis. The designated hitter. Mike. Hard hit, right side. And a quick out, number one. Batting fifth, the third baseman, Eduardo Escobar. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to hit. No score here in the second. Quattrill ahead, one and two. And down on strikes he goes. And now two gone. And next for the Angels, number 75. Quattrill back to work. And strike two. One and two. The one, two. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. And the Angels are gone in order. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here at the ballpark. All Leading set for the for start the of the inning. So in now for, for Cleveland, Andres Jimenez. Andres Jimenez. That misses. Now two balls and a strike. Good eye right Ball. there. Last couple of pitches breaking Three, balls one. away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Nice. And now it's filled up. You got a full count. On the ground to the left. And that's just foul. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Over to first, and he's saved. Next to hit, Gabriel Arias. Now fly ball to right center. He's got it, and there's one down. Miles Straw digs in now. Step off, throw to first. Oh, Jimenez hey. gets back easily. Jimenez leads off first with one away. Steal. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And a pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. And a pitch. Good job to fight that one off. Top of the third, no score.
In the air out to center. Phillips drifts towards it. And puts the squeeze on that one. That's out number two. Stephen Kwan, the next to hit. Good contact guy, good defender. Swing and a miss. One now one and two. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way Runner. so the hitter run around the goal. That There's a ball. The ball. Low throw, and he can't okay. take it out. Well, it really doesn't matter what the situation is. When a guy like this gets on first, you know he's going to steal second at some point during the at-bat. Nice job to get in the scoring position. The defense probably... Well, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Back here at Angel Stadium, set for the bottom of the third. Here's the Angels catcher, Chad Wallach. The wind of the pitch. Ground ball, left side. Toss to Naylor. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Here's a speed threat, Brett Phillips. And a 1 1. Ball up. Good eye right Ball there. Next offering finds the zone of the count is full. So the ball really well today. That two seam fastball has got good run on it. Excellent job of moving it around the plate. And that's ball four. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Now here is Kyron Paris. Two and one. Pitch out, but no action. He's going, he's Phillips going. runs. Pitch yeah. in for a strike. Throw to second. Great jump. And that is a stolen base. It wasn't even close. You know what? I like the aggressiveness right there. It looks like it's going to be tough to score in this one. Really good pitching so far. So why not try to put some pressure on him and see if he can steal the bag, get in the scoring position. Here's the pitch. Runner goes again. Ball misses. Throw to third. He's safe. I think he surprised everyone in the ballpark, and especially the pitcher. It wasn't a great lead there, but when he took off, I think he caught him off guard. Nice job to get to third. Righty delivers. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. In there. And so now one and two. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. First and third, one down. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Huge strikeout there. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. The one two. And a swing and a miss. And that is the inning. Two left on. On to inning number four. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Welcome back. Now at the plate, Jose Ramirez. The wide to kick the pitch. Now one missed. Oh. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just strikes. spit on it. Chases that one out of the zone. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. And now 
It's Josh Naylor. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. But you won. Fought off foul. The Guardians still looking for their first hit in this one. Here's the 2 2. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Back to back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Throw is low, and he can't pick it. With two outs, you just want to find a way to keep the line moving for the next guy. So an infield single right there does the job. Nicely done just putting it in play and getting down to first to keep this inning alive. You never know what might come next as a result. And a pop-up right side, foul territory. And that'll do it. Guardians lead one. And we are still scoreless. Back in Anaheim, John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Luis Rangifo. You know, these Angels just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. And here it comes. Swing and a miss struck him out. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to Number even eight. that count off at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Swing and a miss, and it's one and two. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. Swing at a bouncer, and he grabs it foul. The 2-2. Two -two. Here's a high chopper. Toss to Naylor. Already two gone here in the home four. At the play, Eduardo Escobar. Next one is off the play, and the count is three and one. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. In for a strike. Now it's three and two. Full count. And the righty deals. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Angels held in check. And we're still knotted at zero. And welcome back. We go to the top of the fifth. Stepping up for the Guardians, David Fry. In the air, right field. Rangifo in position. He makes the grab. One down. The bat. The second baseman. Here's Andres, Andres Jimenez. Jimenez. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. And he deals. And now two no, balls and a strike. Out. Action in the pen down there. A right-hander is up and throwing. Hit. That's a strike. Two and two now. Two two. Line drive. And that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. And he's got himself a triple. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. That pretty much split the zone down the middle. And those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. A chance now to take the lead. And at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. And now the shortstop, Gabriel Arias. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Right side, hard hit. 
tosses to first. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Miles Straw getting ready to hit. And Cleveland on top one zip. Pitch. That one Two. ran inside, almost got him. And he grounds one to the right side. Drury to first, and that's the third out. So it's one run, one hit, no errors, no one left. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Guardians one and the Angels nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. So in now for the Angels, number 75. Here's a 1-1. On the ground right side. Down the line and it's foul. The pitch. Swings through it and that's a strikeout. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had a good one. Chad Wallach now. He's over one. Got him swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. Brett Phillips, the next to hit for the Angels. He reached out a walk his first time. Left hand batter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. Quan settles underneath it. He's got it. And that is out number three. Angels go quietly there. Still behind. New pitcher in the game for the Angels, Colton Ingram. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And that one is in for a strike. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Jaime Berea getting ready to go. Next one just misses, and it's three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And he dropped it. Here's Jose Ramirez, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And now the lefty, and there he goes. The 1 1 is fouled off. Quan on at first, nobody out. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the AB going. One, two now. Tries to hold up, appeal to first, no swing. That one ripped. And that should be extra bases. Quan headed for the plate. Not in time. He's safe. And they lead by two. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Breaking ball down and in. Did a nice job of just catching out in front. I like that he didn't spin off the ball by opening up that front hip too early. Here's Josh Naylor. Pitch misses. And that's ball two. Runner at second, nobody out. Next pitch is downstairs. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position and a hitter's count. In the air, out towards left center. 
No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all now know those could be a little field. tricky, especially Ramon. if the wind's swirling around out Loyano. there. And there's a ball. Oh. One out and a runner at second. And he walked him. That's ball four. Runner take your base. Here's Cole Calhoun. Here's a 1 1. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. And a 1 2. Just oh, missed. That's, that's a really good take. Struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. David Fry digs in for the Guardians. Next offering misses, and that's ball three. Andres Jimenez up next. The 3 1. There's a strike. Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. One run in the inning, but they leave two. Nine one and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Guardians two and the Angels nothing. Bottom of the sixth inning. And Here's the shortstop the at the play. Kyron Paris. On the ground, and that's through. Their first hit of the ball game. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Checks over to first. Back safely. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Check swing, no appeal. Gosh, Boog, I think he's trying to deep the pitcher. There's no way he's thinking he can hit that pitch. Left-hand hitter waits. And another ball. So here we go. Base runner at first. Could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Uh, I think he might have gotten away with one right there. That was a very hittable pitch. Right over the heart of the plate, and I know that batter is kicking himself right now. Would like to get that pitch again. Just pulled the string on it, and the deception gets him the K. Run around the goal. In the air, left side. Quan settles underneath it. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. Two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder no coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. The 2 1. Foul ball. And the right hander deals. Big stack center field. First and second with two outs. Here's Mike Moustakis to hit. 1-1 one, one now. That one missed. One. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming.
Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. That one fouled off. Paris at second. Rangifo on at first with two down. Little trouble with this one behind the plate, but no advance from the runners. Two on, two outs. Towards first, and he grabs it in foul ground. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if he can find some open grass in the outfield. This one in the air right field. Loriano makes the play, and that is that. Angels strand a couple. They're still down. It's two zip. Jaime Berea gets the call from the pen. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Right-hander kicks deals. Pitch misses there. Two balls, two strikes. And the pitch. Swing and a ball popped up, and it's caught for the out. The batter, and the batter will be the shortstop, Gabriel Arias. Gabriel Arias. The 1 1. Just no, off the means, outside part of the plate. Two balls, one strike. That misses. Nope. And now three balls and a strike. Three one. The wind and the pitch. Rip towards third. Escobar with the throw to first. And two away to start the seven. Two outs, space is empty. Miles Straw now at the plate. The wind and the pitch. That clips a corner. We got a full count. Ah. Sets him down looking. A controversial called strike three to end the inning. Guardians fail to score. They're up to nothing. Bottom of the seventh. And now Eduardo Escobar kicks and fires. You know, ball. these Angels showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. Starter's leash has to be getting tighter with his pitch count where it is, but so far he's been really effective in this one. That's to third. Ramirez sends it to first, and the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air, lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Up the middle, a dive, he's got it! The throw, and he beats the throw, he's safe. The fun play right there, Boog. He lays all the way out, makes the... Eli Morgan gets handed the rock out of the pen. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Now the batter now, Chad Wallet. The tying run at the plate. Swing and a ball popped up. Naylor makes the grab, and there's two down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Cabbage off of first with two away. Next pitch off the play. Three and one. Fly ball down the right field line. If it's fair, it's gone. And that is gone. 
He circles the bases, and this game is tied. It's 2-2. What an incredible momentum swing on that home run, Boog. I mean, it's late in the game, just barely stayed fair, and it ties up the ball game. Impressive. Now it's the shortstop, Kyron Paris. Strike two. Two and two is the count. And now it's filled up. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. Number 18, waiting for a turn at the plate. Swing and a miss, and that is that. But some late inning heroics as this home run gets us even again. And we're deadlocked now at two apiece. Back here at the ballpark, ready to begin the eighth. Here's the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. That's in there. One and two. One and two. Right into the plate. And looking and one away. Now the number two hitter, Jose Ramirez. One for three. The one one. Fouled off. He was late. Next offering is downstairs. The pitch stays alive. Two two now. And just misses with that one. Josh Naylor waits on deck. Gets a piece and stays alive. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. Right-handed reliever. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Three, two on the way. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Now, well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. The idea was right, looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. 2-2 two -two now. Out to short, Paris. Over to first. That's the third out. The Guardians go down in order. Score remains deadlocked at 2-2. Two -two. So Cleveland brings on a new reliever, Ronaldo Lopez. Back to the top of the lineup, leading off number 18. And a 2 1 on the way. Good eye in that spot. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. 3 1 now. And there's ball four. No outs, runner at first. And next for L.A., Brandon Drury. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. At the belt and fires. And that's outside. Movement in the pen for the Guardians. Nick Sandlin up and throwing for Terry Francona. 
The go-ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. Out to short, and it's through for a hit. Throw holds him at second, but the go-ahead run now in scoring position, and still nobody out. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Ramirez, fired to second, and they'll just get the one. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off, and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. Now, here is Mike Moustakis. Next pitch is outside. In the infield at the corners. Don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. And a pitch. Now a check swing grounder. Naylor. One at second. Oh. Throw to first, but he beat it. And next for the Angels, Eduardo Escobar. Two outs. On the ground, right side. And it goes just foul. Moose off of first with two away. In the dirt. On to first. That completes the strikeout, inning over. So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. A run, a hit, and a man left. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Angels three and the Guardians two. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Aaron Luke. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. Come back into the mound. In plenty of time to first, now one gone in the ninth. And up next for Cleveland, Cole Calhoun. Battling here as he fouls it away. The 2-2. Two -two. Got him swinging. And here is David Fry. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Just one strike away. Got him! And that's the ball game. Well, this turned out to be an exciting, very well-played game. Always feels great when you can take the lead in the eighth at home. Come on the ninth, the crowd will be behind that pitcher as he tries to get those final three outs. Everybody goes home happy with a win like this. A 3-2 final score in this one. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long. for tonight. First for the victorious Angels. Three runs, five hits, one error. They left five men on base. For Cleveland, two runs on four hits, no error. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 45 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.